Hey guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. So I found something really, really, really good in this crate, and it's going to save my life. Why will a trowel be good for me? So if you're, if you've played a lot of Project Zomboid, you know that a trowel is basically an infinite source of food. Um, as long as you have dirt, you should still be able to live because demonstration time. Um, yes, I am starving right now. <laughs> it's, it's gotten very, very close. Um, it's not really bad for our character because he desperately needed to lose weight. He's still 104 kilograms, though. He just doesn't lose weight as fast as he needs to. I did find one right away. Okay, now you have a decent chance of finding these things. Um, like, pretty good. We'll, we'll see how, it, how, how our luck turns out as we go, but as long as I keep on digging trenches in the dirt, I should still find worms. And are we still starving? Okay, it's gonna take- maybe it'll take a couple more worms in my- in my stomach, but... Once we find them, we should have basically an infinite source of food. Um, and some of you guys said I should do this at the end of my last playthrough, and it honestly never even occurred to me, but you never will run out of food as long as you're standing on dirt. So <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on eating them. Um, the reason I'm not foraging, why, is because uh, I'm just really, really bad at it. I could forage and I might be able to find some stuff, but I mean, what would I find? Berries? Berries would be good, but the problem is that my character hasn't read the Herbalist magazine, so he's not, um, well-versed in berries. He doesn't- he can't identify poison or safe berries, uh, which means I'm taking a chance. And I could eat, like, one at a time, but I need to have, I think, like, full health in order to be able to take the brunt of a poison- of a bad poison berry. Um, so we- we don't really want to do that right now, and our character's probably gonna be dropping off from high health all the time. What else? Um, okay, so now we're down to very hungry. Actually, very hungry is not a bad place for this character. He's gonna have reduced strength and healing, but he's already completely weak, so it doesn't really... I, I wasn't planning on fighting anyway. I tried to avoid fights as much as possible. Still addicted to cigarettes. Can't change anything about that. We could find more. Um, it's about the way it goes. Discomfort. I don't think it's from eating worms. I think I'm pretty much fine with that. I, I could have, like, a whole batch of worms, and I'd still be alright. Um, extreme panic, not much doing about that either, you know, we could stay in large rooms and that's about all that we can do with that. Uh, but I'm thinking, like, plan for today is eat worms. <laughs> like, that might even, that might just be it. Some of you guys have suggested that I go watch TV, um, which is a good idea. I'm just trying to think of how I'm gonna, I, I need to know where I'm going for a TV if I want to go back into civilization. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just lose weight, eat worms, and I don't know, like, what I might end up doing is just trying to dodge the helicopter event because I don't want them to come to McCoy. I want to keep this as a safe place. Um, or what I could even do is, from McCoy, go to, uh, the farm to the west, which used to be a pretty good place to survive. Um, it's got water, it's got land, it's got dirt, it's got worms, um, so I can, <laughs> so I can eat there. Uh, but let me see though. I've had pretty bad worm luck actually. Usually you do better with worms. You could find like, uh, 20 worms in a, in a few squares. <laughs> Usually when I'm digging up worms outside, I find loads to eat and I give them to kids nearby and they love them. Everybody, friends, family, everybody likes to eat my worms that I dig up. Make new friends giving away worms. Well, that's not gonna work out for us because everybody's dead. Um, so, I, I don't really know what to do with this character. Like, you know, in 2009, gaming used to, I don't know why 2009 is, like, in the aughts, you know, gaming was like, uh, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, you know, you'd hit people with a sword, and now it's like, well, we're gonna eat worms, and that's how it's gonna be, like, <laughs> actually, actually having this conversation about this, like, type of survival island gaming. It's kind of, it's like, it's funny, but when you realize that you've been immersed in it so long, it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> when did gaming get like this? <laughs> but part of that's just, you know, like, the challenges that I give myself anyway, but, um, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm really seriously considering just living off a diet of worms, but my more kind of major concern is how do I run away? So I'm gonna, I, I mean, I've got a food source, I need a bowl so that I can get a water source, but ultimately, I need wheels until I'm thin. Until I can sprint away, I need wheels. So I'm going to see if I can just break down a lot of the crates in uh, 
McCoy and see if we can find a gas can because we do have two car keys so I mean we, we should be well off and that's pretty much you know a ticket to more gas if we could just sit on our asses in a car go to the side of the road dig up some worms and like find food somewhere and then park against like a tree you know so that I don't get eaten in the night I'd say that's like pretty much as good a life as I could have for someone who's um need I remind you illiterate how can you be illiterate and you can drive a car? Beats me. <laughs> Smoker, obese, agoraphobic, afraid of everything, just idiot. Uh, really terrible, terrible character. Oh, we've really not had very good luck with the worms, but you know, like, it's enough to get me by. I have enough worms that I'm satisfied for today. I won't be happy about it, but I will live. So, um... Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna dig up worms, I'm gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna wake up. Actually, I don't even need to do that, I'm just gonna break down the crates, and then I'll go to sleep, and then, uh... Hopefully I find gas. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Or just be able to get out of here. To have... To always have an out, I think, is... Is the most important thing for this character. When we started, he didn't have an out. Now he does. This is a rare ticket, so let's... Take it while we can. Yeah, I also had a few people ask me about why didn't I take the shotgun in the last video. Um, the reason I don't take a shotgun is because it's pretty much just sounding the dinner bell. It's not really going to do me any good here. Um, otherwise, I, I would definitely take it, and I, I would like it, but it's just going to hold me down. Um, and it really doesn't even do that much damage. Like, it's a good weapon for gaining skill at shooting, but I'm just, it's just not even really worth it for this character. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully guns will be viable in the future, but yeah, for right now, I'm thinking no. I'll leave it on the ground as an option, or maybe like if I if I really get into a situation that I can't get out of and just want to use it as like a joke. <laughs> but I, I, hopefully that doesn't come. Wow, they actually modeled the whole. That looks really good. I have not noticed that yet. All right, um, let's disassemble these and pray for a gas can. I really need a gas can more. All right, fate smiled upon me with the trowel, so I now have pretty much a renewable uh, food source. But this entire warehouse doesn't seem to have any gas cans, so I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Um, and then in the morning we'll search another warehouse. I'm getting a little bit antsy here because I know, I think it's been like seven or ten days. I lost count, um, since I first started. I'm, I'm, I'm still tired. I mean, you know, our moodles aren't doing well. And since we're not in civilization, we're not eating like processed foods that are easy to eat. Um, I mean, you know, worms, like worms will feed you, but they, they don't feed the soul. You know what I mean? Um. So let's just search another warehouse, and then we'll see if we can, like, uh, just get a gas. I need, I need that, because, it, like, it's it's senseless to have two cars with no gas. I mean, after that, maybe we could consider getting a TV. Then I could forage for food. Then I could actually, you know, enjoy life out here rather than eating worms. All right, well, you know what stinks? I just looked through, like, three warehouses, and I couldn't find a single can of gas. I found about three shotguns, so not a very good life. Not a very good life. Uh, I think I got a hand axe. Like, I could I could go out into the woods like Tom Joad, you know, and, like, live out there. <laughs> this is so sad. I'm not, go I'm not going to live. <laughs> I'm literally, look, I'm severely depressed. No. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I think I'm just going to, like, I'm going to kind of pontificate here. No, pontificates when you talk out loud. I'm gonna kind of mull this over. I'm gonna mull it over, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna look for more worms in the ground because uh, you know I can always use more worms. I don't even think that they rot. I'm pretty sure that worms don't rot, or if they do, you know, I probably won't be hanging on to them long enough for them to rot. And I can always get more, so it's fine. But it's like it feels like time that I'm not wasting, you know. Um, Am I getting better at- no, I don't think I'm getting better at farming for this, but I'm probably getting better at something for this. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, so all this worm digging has got me kind of thinking. Um, you know, it's never really wasted time when you're digging up worms. Like, you can always use them for something. I mean, even if they- I'm not sure, would a fish eat a rotten worm? If I were a fish, I don't think I could tell, I don't think I could even think if I were a fish. Um, but what I'm thinking is, if we like kind of bunny hop between here and the other McCoy area, we might be able to save ourselves the meta event. Like, you know, if they come over here, if the meta event happens to happen, 
when I met McCoy, I could go to the like the lumber camp and still have enough to survive for a few weeks, enough to lose weight and actually get my character better. But on the other hand, if it happens over there, I could, you know, and I'd be happy to come over here. Eventually, both places will get swar swarmed. But the goal is that my character is lost. I don't know, at least fifteen kilograms by the time that that's happened. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in a rapid, like, uh, life-threatening weight loss program, basically, where it's like, like some experimental diet. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I'm too far from that. And it's also just going to be good running experience, except that my character's really tired all the time, constantly, so I need to get over there as fast as possible. Ideally, I'd like to be there for when the event happens. Okay, it's morning. Um, I just woke up here, and for me, this number of Moodles is actually a fairly good condition. Like, I'm <laughs> this is about as strong as our character is going to be for a while. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna remain calm. I'm gonna walk through the woods. Um, I think it's because of the panic why I'm getting uh, out of breath right now. But that should hopefully it'll go down in some way. I'm also gonna take beta blockers so that I can reduce that panic. I don't know if that. I think that that does affect the exertion a bit though. Um. We won't really be able to do much about the tiredness, but we can at least get to the other camp. Uh, hopefully clear out. I'm hoping it's not more than like one or two there that we have to fight. But then once we're done with that, I don't know, stick around there, digging up worms, drinking water. And we could either, we could go to the isolated cabin out in the woods. Because that would be an infinite source of water and an infinite source of, wo of food. Um, I don't think that it has a TV, but it's still not a bad place, and I don't think that any ever come out there. Like, I'd be surprised if I saw one out there, but I honestly think that would be a safer bet. And some of you guys have told me, you know, go west because there's a farm in the, out in the west. I was, like, it sounded like a good idea, but I'm also like, man, I don't even think I can clear out an area with, like, five in them. I mean, if they came to McCoy, it would be fine, but the problem is that if I have to travel before I go there, that means I'm fighting, like, uh, like an away game, you know? <laughs> like, they need to come to my home field for me to be safe. But let's just start with this area. Um, I'll start with this. We do have the, we do have the trowel. We have the axe, and we have, what do we have, hammer, and do we even have a, yeah, we even have a saw with us. So we have a lot of essential items for, like, carpentry, uh, and pretty much anything that we need. And I'm just going to try not to screw this up too much. <laughs> I guess after that event happens, though, maybe I'll go out to the isolated cabin out in the woods because, I mean, if I travel a lot and then I don't expect to see anything at the end of it, uh, except for some nice, juicy, delicious gummy worms, then that that's probably safe. Yeah. All right, so let's go to the other camp and then <laughs> just start start from there. Baby steps, baby steps. All right, my shirt got ruined so i'm no longer agent 47 um probably i'm better off ripping the clothing at this point though uh, it's, it's not gonna give me anything but dirty rags so i'm probably just as well off just dropping it and taking the extra added inventory space um i mean there is a whole tailoring system we could go into now i don't think it would really even do this character that much good though only because it would just be extra weight on him it, i mean if it even does that hmm I should probably check that out, but anyway, um, on, on to the mining camp. I figured that if we can trigger, if we could at least get the helicopter event here and then go out into the woods, I, I hope that they don't come all the way out to me, but you never know. I mean, the sadistic AI director is pretty, is pretty evil. They might do that to me. <laughs> anyway, um, won't know until we try it, so let's just try it. Now, are there any here? I'm surprised. Usually there's at least a few around here. I'm going to try not to run pretty much at all because you don't really lose much stamina. I think just as long as you're walking. So let's do this. We'll go here and we'll see if we can get in without breaking the glass to hopefully get a good night's sleep here. Um, at all costs, we want to be sleeping as much as possible. But I mean, that cabin up there is all furnished. The more I think about the cabin, the better idea an idea it seems. Um, I could even go back to McCoy, if, especially if the event doesn't happen there. That way I could pick up seeds and then grow food out there, or j just exclusively forage. I mean, eventually we'll need a long-term plan for once winter comes along, but... Wow, I hadn't even ever considered that I would make it to winter with this terrible character, though. Can you imagine? Like a year-long... No, that would, that would be miserable. <laughs> I 
unless if unless he gets decent stamina, I'd say that probably the hardest thing to play through. I don't know what it is like watching it, but um, like the stamina and the fitness is just god awful. Like I can't I can't move for very long without getting completely exhausted. All right, um, I'm just gonna zoom to when I get there because I already seem to be pretty out of breath and I walked ninety percent of the way here. All right, looks isolated. All right, and we got one window open. The door was locked, so let's get that from the other side. Wow. I think I gotta remove the tie. It doesn't... It's just, this this isn't a look at all, you know? Like... <laughs> a t-shirt and a tie. No one wears that except at Halloween. Right, we get that. Water bottle. It's amazing how quickly this character's... An orange. Wow. All right, you know? Um, we'll leave it in there. I'm just like, not not insects I don't even know what a worm what is a worm some sort of mollusk <laughs> or not even a mollusk no mollusks have shells some sort of some sort of nerd all right let's see what we can find here and a pencil and eraser good for stabbing people in the eye but that's about it in this game oh man you know it used to be way too easy to do that but now it's now I think it's the appropriate difficulty <laughs> I, I'm like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to stab somebody in the eye. Even a zombie, even a zombie, I think I would have a very hard time. Hell, never thought I'd utter that sentence. Um, okay, we, can we go here? Nope, and I don't think that's just from weakness. Uh, I want to try to avoid using the trowel, if at all, or at all, if possible, because it's not that great condition, and I don't want it to go down anymore. Because if you do run out of it in combat, you actually can't use it for its main use, which stinks. Alright, let's um equip that to our primary, and we should be able to get through the window pretty fast. Now, I didn't want to break this down, but I think I can just get to sleep in the other one. Alright, take that out. Nobody can hear me over here. I don't think there's anyone, anybody, anywhere near here. Wow, it's crazy that the power has stayed on this long. I, I really do regret not being able to find a TV. Or not just, like, throwing one and, I don't know, carrying it with me to the woods. But remember how hard it was to get to the woods in the first place? It's like, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Oh, well. Okay, I don't think we're going to find anything here. So I'm just going to sleep in the other place for tonight. Did I? Oh, yeah, there's actually a freezer in there, too. I keep. Thanks for reminding me to check freezers. That's one thing I always forget. So I'm going to do that. And, damn. All right, um, use an improv defense. Oh, actually, yeah, I've not used a cold bag in a long time. Have I ever even used a cold bag? They're just such rare items. Is that new? I, f I want to say that that's new, but I feel like it's old. Okay, I'm going to put the burger in the microwave. Um, I think I'm just going to make this so that it's not unhappy, and then I'll eat it on the way there. That's fine. Oh, wait, I probably should have put this to thaw, right? Oh, man, I completely forget that there are settings to these things. Yeah. Um. I don't remember exactly what this does. I think that might be thaw. Oh, it's been so... There we go. Okay, we get a decent burger. Um, I'm actually going to save that. I'll, I'll be saving this burger. <laughs> it's like the Patrick Star thing. Oh, boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll sleep. Then we'll go to the isolated cabin, and honestly, tomato seeds, we may actually have a tomato farm. We may have enough for a tomato farm out there. This character might be done. I might have won already. But don't say it yet. And surprise, surprise, I can't sleep because I am... Oh no, I just realized I'm going to get claustrophobia in that cabin. I might not be able to sleep out there at all. Um... Either that or I'm going to have to build an extension onto the house because it's it's definitely too small. I'll be getting claustrophobia all the time. All right, I might need to... <laughs> this is going to be crazy, but I might need I might need to go back to civilization to get nails just to undo that claustrophobia. But, you know, we'll go out there while we can because I don't really want to go back into Muldraw and take my chances getting nails. I think I'm just going to run out into the woods at this point because I, don't, I heard a gunshot, but I guess I got lucky. And I'd really like to know... Like a definite answer. Does the helicopter of it can it chase you all the way to an isolated cabin? And if I get screwed there, then I mean that would be a valiant last stand. If this character had made it 
to the isolated cabin. Hey, we could even run to the farm at that point. There is water there. We have food. I think the only thing we'd be is unhappy. Yeah, I mean, we'd have heat, too. Even in the winter, you could... Like, if we get through this, we could make it to winter in theory. In theory! All right, I'll meet you when we get there. All right, I actually managed to find it. It's pretty lucky because sometimes you go up here and you overshoot it. It's very, very easy when you're traveling over long distances. If you miss it by like a couple degrees, then you might get completely lost there. Now there is a, a like a trail of dirt over to the west so that I could, you know, get my bearings and know that I didn't find it. But then there aren't really any markers there, so you kind of got to take some guesses there. Um, this is home. <laughs> Uh, technically you can live here and I'm going to see if I can put something together. I, I, I kind of want to give it a good chance because I don't think that meta events like can occur this far out. They need to actually just spawn here, which does happen, but I don't think it would be that many. Um, now my main thing is when I get in here, is my claustrophobia going to take over? I think it is. It's locked. I'm like 99% sure about this place that claustrophobia is going to take over, so... What I'm going to end up having to do is either expand it, I'll, I'll either one, never be able to sleep, two, um, I'll have to, ex I mean, I, I'd like to expand the place ultimately in time, or three, um, go somewhere else to sleep. Not really preferable, but I don't have too many options at this point, uh, and it looks like everything's locked. I'm just going to give these windows one last try, because I don't want to break them if I don't have to. Um, an alarm system would be well appreciated at this point. Um, only because you wouldn't really have much warning at all if you were getting swarmed. All right, you know what? We could just barricade them. That would be fine. Um, let's smash this one. Hopefully before too long. There we go. Okay. Remove the broken glass. Please don't panic. If he doesn't panic, it's going to make my life a lot easier. If we pass time... Well... Ooh, uh, man, I thought that was a TV for a second. I was like, did I forget about there being a TV in here? All right, you know what? It's not a bad spot. There's not really any supplies here, but he has a radio. So we could actually pretend that we're contacting someone out here or something. Oh, great, books that I can't read. Too bad they... Man, that would have been a great magazine to read if I... If, if only I could read. <laughs> All right, um... Yeah, we're set, man. I mean, like, that's that's it. Game over. We won. <laughs> um, no, I gotta I got figure out how to get to sleep, but I think I could pretty much just use these tricks that I had before. Let's see if I sit on the ground. Oh, no, it's not going away. Alright, so then my existence here is like this. I'm, I'm banished. Oh, shit. Man, I thought I was getting a helicopter in real life. Um... I can't sleep at all. I can't sleep at all then. I could sleep maybe one or two more nights with these beta blockers, but I might want to get to the farm out further to the west so that I can get some nails, expand this place, come back, and then do it like that. I don't know. It's getting kind of iffy, but just fill up our water bottle. I'll wait in the house. I'm just going to pass the time, dig up some worms, and try to pass through this event. I don't think that anything's even going to come out of it, though. But I, I'd like to see if any spawn over here. So, we'll give it a try and go from there. Alright, well, the helicopter passed overhead. I planted my garden, and um, I don't even think I'm going to have a chance to water this thing, but I'll come back to it later. Hopefully it'll rain. Um... I don't have any nails, so I can't really do anything here either, so I wanted to barricade that window to see if I could get a good night's sleep. I will be able to sleep tonight because um, I have, whatchamacallit, beta blockers. I think one more night's worth. Uh, I'm going to need to use the last of my power tomorrow, um, only so that I can get out to the last farm to the west, because if this place, if I'm going to be claustrophobic in here, I mean, I could spend weeks here without sleep, but I don't really want to do that. That's not a very good character. I know I'm going to keep saying this, but, like, I need to at least have those basic things met that I can get to sleep without panicking. Um, 
even if it's through like speeding up time or whatever but you know whatever i can do and did i accidentally just dismantle that i think i may have accidentally just dismantled that you know, I guess I couldn't let dismantle. I don't want to go about dismantling walls, though. At this point, yeah, our panic is still high. Okay, so we've still got extreme panic, but I'm still going to try to just pick these up. Adam's items. Oh, I so I could break it. Maybe I broke it before. Didn't didn't even notice. Let's pick up this crate. We're going to try to move these crates in front of the window for tonight, just so that we have something blocking us. That I don't I don't know. Maybe it'll make some noise. I don't think that they can get through too high of these things. Did I break that too? Oh, Jesus! All right. Um, I don't. I don't even know what to do now. I. I was hoping I would get at least two crates out of that. All right. Well, we'll get one crate, so we'll get some sort of thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Crate. Okay. Uh, place item. There. I mean, that's only gonna have them slide over it. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I don't think I can do anything else though. All right. So I guess I'm just uh. Actually, probably safer is to just put the chair in the closet. I feel like picking up a chair, though. Am I really that much of a klutz that I break a chair just by picking it up? All right, whatever. You know what? I'm not questioning it. I'm just going to live with it. I'm going to take my pills, go to sleep, and then tomorrow we're going to the farm to the west. Oh, man. I'm going to need one last burst of energy for this. I can't believe that we made it this far already. This is insane. This is just stupid at this point. Just die already. Right, and he can go to bed now. Okay, here's the thing. I'm a little bit conflicted over this. I don't really want to leave this farm at all, um, but I got to if I want to live. Uh, I don't think there's any way that I could live perpetually out here. I mean, I might be able to wait for the tomatoes to grow. I mean, like, I could, you know, I could, in theory, just stay awake forever, but I don't think that that's really a victory. I think if at that point you're just, you know, like, I won in big quotes, but it's, it didn't really happen. Um, if we could just expand this cabin so that we're not agoraphobic in it, that's pretty much a win scenario. Like, I could make it to winter if I do that. Just digging up worms. I could eventually get better at foraging. I could test out berries. And my character could survive. I mean, there is, like, a m very minimal way to play this game, and it would be only that. Um, but what what am I even doing? Why am I, why am I going out this far? Actually, let me just sit on the ground. Um... We want to have full energy as best we can for this. I don't even know why I used up that bit. And now we're actually going to be paying for it even more. But at this point, I think I'm just going to walk over to the farms to the west. And we'll see what we see. Um, there's a lot of towns out here, but there's also going to be zombies again. So it's a risk, but I could just run back into the woods if it doesn't go well. And, I don't know, try again. <laughs> at this point, though, my character is pretty desperate. And, you know, we did make it through the helicopter, so we could always go back to McCoy if this doesn't work out. But I'd like to see if these farms are abandoned. That would be ideal. All right, I'll meet you when we get to the farms, because it's quite a long way to get there. All right, I've now run into a weird problem I've never, ever had before. And it's because <laughs> I've literally walked so far that my shoes have worn out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm somewhere vaguely in the woods. I, maybe if I just sit on the ground long enough, this will go away. I don't know. Um, but I don't really have anything left. <laughs> I'm going to try unequipping my pants and I might... Can I even rip these? Can I rip these? Okay, I'm going to try to rip these and hopefully I'll get one clean sheet from them. Nope, only dirty rags. Can I still use... I don't even think I can use dirty rags. <laughs> okay, so now I'm bleeding from the feet. Um, and I'm new. I'm naked. Um, <laughs> and I think because of this, I might... I don't think I'll bleed out from scratched feet, but... Damn. I don't even really know what to say. I'm, uh, I'm like, forced a little bit now into leaving that cabin in the woods behind because I was too claustrophobic to stay there. I mean, my shoes would have worn out anyway. But now I need to get back into town. I'd be happy if I saw a single zombie at this point because I need its shoes. I need its shoes and its shirt more than anything at this point. But only one because both my feet are bleeding now and I am actually bleeding out from foot bleeding. <laughs> All right. I, wouldn't it be the weirdest thing to die of foot scratches? I mean, all the blood does go to your, you know, your... 
I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't. I don't think it even does go to your feet because they're on the bottom. Look, I'm literally bleeding from my feet. <laughs> this is this is as far, this is ex as extreme as I've ever taken this game. I can't believe it though. I'm actually losing like a decent amount of blood. I don't think I can. D can I die from? I might be able to die from this. If I do die from this, it would be the most anticlimactic way I've ever lost a character. And I would I would actually be really pissed if this was how I died. But uh, I I don't know what else to do. I I don't think anything in nature can work for that. I mean, there might be something I could forage for. I, oh, actually, I can clean these. Okay, and I could apply them. Okay, great. Um, why did I not get that option when I right-clicked? That's pretty strange, actually. I'm pretty surprised that that happened. I'm just going to put these dirty rags on my feet. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so then you need to apply the bandages. Like, I've never experienced that before. Okay, so we do have bandages, albeit dirty, so... I think that means, like, slightly higher chance of infection or something like that, but... You know, we could always walk around with bandaged feet. <laughs> bandaged feet, digging up worms in the nude. With the world's worst character. This is, above all, the worst playthrough anyone has ever had. I don't think anything is anything worse has ever been done like th than this. No shoes. Not even shoes. <laughs> I, I don't even have shoes. <laughs> this is the worst. I never pictured it would get this bad. I thought it would be like, oh, he's fat, so he's kind of slow. Has a hard time getting away from stuff. But, you know, like he had refrigerators he could use, and then he got to a better weight. Nope. Just like full, uh, you know, naked and afraid style. <laughs> like this guy is forced to go on a diet because <laughs> because of his shitty lifestyle. If he wants to live. Oh man. Alright. Eat another worm. And I think the road's here somewhere. I left I left one of my shirts on the background because I didn't think I'd need it. I thought it was more important to just find home. <laughs> but I'm going to need to stealth my way to the farm. If I can stealth my way into the farm though. That'll be insane. Anyway. Get ready for the slowest playthrough you've ever seen. When I get back. Because I can't risk anything at this point. Like if I've made it this far... It's really, really worth it to try to get the most I can out of these farm stalls and then head back. And now that I think about it, it's not even really going to be worth it to go back to the the lodge in the woods. I already triggered the helicopter event there. So it was worth it for what it had. And now, if I go to the farm, I'd actually have TV and I'd have a good amount of farm stuff. Not to mention there's a lot of land. I could dig up worms. Yeah, if I, if I make it to the farm and if the farm is abandoned... That that's that's a big dub, that's a win. If, all right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any tips as I try to sneak my way back into the farm. It looks like my foot is getting destroyed again. I wonder if I'm even gonna make it. Should I just even just play this out? Maybe I'm just gonna play this out. I might die right here, you know, from scratched feet. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna play it out. I gotta I gotta find out. I gotta know. If my feet bleed out, then that would be the craziest way to lose this. Tailoring rip clothing requires scissors, so I don't even have scissors to do that. I can't do it with anything in the bag. Do I have anything in the bag that could be used like that? Wow, dying of a scratched right foot. Okay, but we did find the road. All right. Let's see if we can get to the farm. You know what? Fuck it. I just need to check one thing really quick. Okay, I had to check a map. I at least need to know which way the farm is. Because if I want to get a decent shot at winning this, I've got to do this right. It looks like the coast is clear. The problem is now... I'd even be well off if I found one zombie. This is tense, guys. Jeez.
Ah, fuck. I don't even know whether to look for zombies or not. Um, my my blood is dropping surprisingly fast right near. <laughs> this is insane. Look at him. He's going to bleed to death on the... He's going to bleed to death on the... I don't know if I could even just sit and it would stop, but I'm too scared to find out. And I think that sitting is too new for me to even be able to look up an answer. Uh... Shit, all right, I'm looking for a dirt path next. There should be a dirt path. Once I get to the farm, there's got to be cloth in there. There's got to be a shirt and a drawer or something. Oh, man. This house was, I think, my very first base in projects. Maybe I'll end it all here. No more no more videos. No more YouTube after this. <laughs> if I make it to the house, that's it. I played, I played my last game. Damn. This is insane. Oh, I might die. I might die. Is there anything else on me I could do? Cigarettes, smoke it. I guess I, I could smoke a cigarette now at the end. <laughs> at my last smoke. I think I will make it to the farm, but you know what I bet's going to happen is just, I'm just going to get mauled when I get there. There's going to be so many of them there. Unless if they got triggered, like the ones out here by the helicopter event, then I'm okay. I feel like I'm going to rush, though. I feel rushed because of these bleeding feet. I mean, is an immediate... I think it's pretty much an immediate heal once I get bandages on these things. I can't twine up my feet, can I? God, I feel like Christ coming down from the cross, you know? <laughs> like, this is this must have been the way it was. <laughs> Except, like, all his stats were way up at that point. Shit. Shit. Oh my god, this is as fast as I can walk. It's like Tom Hanks castaway. <laughs> oh man. I thought I thought I was just gonna be eating worms all day. And here I am. I've never been in a situation this like this like pathetic and weak. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. And there's none here. Holy crap. What if there was just no loot in there and I just died of bleeding feet in the barn? Oh no, that would be horrible. If there's one in there, I could fight it. I could fight one. I could fight one. I, I hope it's not more than one, though, if there is one. I th I think I hear one, so I'm just going to go in here. Oh, great. There's TV in here. Wouldn't it be ironic if they all just jumped out of the closet? Okay, I'm going to wear these shorts. Uh, I can't rip them. Holy crap. Uh, I might need scissors. I don't know what the fuck I'm getting into in here. Holy shit, holy shit. Get off of me, get off of me, get off, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, stairs, 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 yeah, stairs, okay. Okay, I know there's a bedroom up here. Holy ball sack, holy ball sack, holy ball sack. Ooh, okay, possibly there was some things in there. I just don't want to get cornered in here. I really don't want to get cornered in here. Me pencil magazine. Which one's the bedroom? Which one's the bedroom? Oh, fuck. Where's the fuck, goddamn fucking dresser? Okay, cigarettes. I don't need those right now immediately. No. No, I'm trapped. Wouldn't it be ironic to die in here? Okay, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I need her sweater, though. I need, fuck, I didn't mean to call. I didn't mean to call. I didn't mean to call. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm wondering if I'll die before I stomp her to death, though. No! Oh no! This is the worst thing that's ever happened in America. Okay. Okay, I got only scratched. I got. I, I only got scratched. You know that. This is probably gonna take forever to stop her, and they'll break down the door before. It's only a scratch, so I'm probably not infected. There's only a seven percent chance, but look at how. Why can't I rip denim? If I could have ripped denim, I could have prevented all of this from happening. Man, I bet that they'll take down the door before... Heavy pa What is heavy pain? What is heavy pain? <laughs> Nobody's ever said that before. I'm in heavy pain. Oh, man. I You know, I probably could have, like, dismantled the mattress, gotten a pillow... I don't know if you can rip that. I gotta think. Sheets. 
This is literally how long it's taking me to kill them, though. So at this point, death would death would be more welcome than than this. Oh my god! I'm. Yeah, they're probably gonna break down the. You know, I might just bleed to death while stomping her. <laughs> Can you imagine? Look at all the blood on the ground. Am I not? Am I not even at the hate box? This is this is stupid. Yeah, they're knocking on this door now. They're gonna eat me while I'm still stomping her. Holy crap. That's awesome. Okay, finally, I finally got her. Um, I think that was a hundred stops. That was the most stops it's ever taken me to do anything. <laughs> this is awesome, and some of them are finally clean! Okay, rip sheets. <laughs> I can't believe that she managed to scratch me. I might even be infected. I might be lucky enough to have gotten infected. Escape from this god-awful character. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of asking for it by getting naked. Maybe that was the real rub. I'm going to put on her sneakers. Man, I don't even think I'm going to be able to take out like, the three that are in here. Well, I got a t-shirt. I got some gloves. I should have put on those gloves, you know, that would have given me better defense. I just wasn't thinking straight. Uh, let's wear this. Holy crap. Heavy pain on my... I've never even had that message before. I, know, I mean, that's after hundreds of hours. Okay, let's just... Always hold on to dirty front to dirty rags, fellas. All right. Um, we'll pick back up then. No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll finish it off. I'll finish it off. <laughs> I really don't even want to though at this point. What am I even gonna? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta make a decision. What am I even gonna do? If there's one, I'll fight him after I bring him into this room or any room. If there's two, I gotta bring one into a room. If it's three, I'm dead. I'm just going to give up immediately on the spot. Right. Uh, actually, I don't need that cigarette, but fuck it, it's badass, all right? Uh, severely depressed, extreme panic, very hungry. Someone read it, this, please, for me. All right. Oh, you are so smart. I might not even ever have to fight you in my entire life. Let's just see if there's something else in here. Anything that can help me. Oh, what a lovely sweater vest. All right, that'll help me a little bit. Unfortunately, I am getting claustro- <sighs> Am I even going to be able to sleep in this house, or am I just going to be- There's got to be somewhere in here where the panic will go down. There's got to be. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to fight this one. Since there's another one downstairs, we're going to have to call him over here. So let's just push him. Come with me, and you'll see- in a world of pure imagination. Please don't go by the wall because I need a better hitbox this time. There we go. The house is safe. I'm done. Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing there is nothing left here. Uh, please let there be some end to this claustrophobia because if I could get to sleep, you know, let's shave off this goddamn beard. <laughs> there there needs to be there needs to be some end some salvation to this. Let me just see if I can get to sleep. If I can't, I, I'll, I'll, I'll end it there either way, but I want to know. Okay, I, there's beta blockers, so I'll be able to get to sleep. All right. Thank you very much. This has been the, the worst video ever created. <laughs> I can't believe... I can't believe that this happened. I don't even want to aggro anymore. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to sleep here. Pick up and find out if I'm infected tomorrow. Thanks.